top dog and his son. Yeah, they, those are now my enemies. Damn. And by my enemies, I'm not looking for them. They just made it clear that they were never for me or never in my corner. So once somebody uh, makes it clear that they never had your best intentions and were never looking out for you, okay. they was more so trying to like, like I say, like a West Coast P. Diddy, they were trying to Foxworth Bentley you. Because right. I'll be honest, like a big thing, like you even know, like, like Keem, like a nigga like Keem, right? If you go back to our city and you ask anybody about Keem, like growing up, right, nobody knows him. Like Keem was a nobody. He's always been a nobody. If I ask people Damn, in high school, even since his beef, like you remember Keem in high school, most people can't what even recollect what? this nigga. All right. So the difference is Bees was a nigga who's been know? on these stages since he was 15. I think you've seen me post my guitar recitals in middle school. Like I've been a guy on the stage. Okay. I was teaching hip hop and crump at the Santa Clarita School of Performing Arts. Like I, I was in the industry before there was a top dog entertainment. Before that, all right. Became, so Bees, am I flexing? Yeah. My I, shit. I look. I, 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 I look so okay. So all, uh, all, you all, like joined TDE and did the whole nine. So now, yeah. when you posted on your IG story surviving TDE, yeah, what did you mean? What and what are some details that you could tell us? Well, well, I've been around that camp day one. Now, two things, Flacco. There's one is a is an in depth book. We can write that to make me millions because I know everything on a Jaguar right tip on a on a industry tip i was around everything i know everything twisted behind that industry but when i say surviving tde it's the same thing as what you, you what you see with diddy you That's looking at crazy. a camp where like hey where is all the day one That's people at crazy. where's all the people that that same were here that diddy helped start this whole thing and people make it like i'm crazy or i'm some bitter bitter dude talking about everybody in td made it no 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 90 percent of the people who started in td are not around no more i don't see mixed by Ali around. Before Kendrick and Dave Free left in the PG Lane, I hadn't seen them around the camp in a long time. All right. It's funny when you hear niggas like AMAC that, you know, they like talking big, like, oh, like, I don't see Dot around any of you niggas and hasn't been around any of you niggas. I would say between AMAC, the, the Apollo, those are like the last two niggas that came in day one with TD. Everybody else is damn near gone. All if they're right. not family, they gone. Right, for so the please. same reasons, for the same Diddy reasons. The facts, damn, but this Diddy reasons is crazy. Get to, to why the people is here for, man. When you Nobody. said surviving TDE, what did you mean? TDE is a reflection of what we see happening all over the music game. What the heck so is bro everybody, about? for one, like Joe Budden told you, these niggas are broke. These niggas are damn. broke. And I only know this because I've been around niggas with money and niggas with money don't move like these broke niggas move. So, so it's funny because you, you so see them with lots of serious. Everybody's broken TD. AMAC Ooh. has a, a, a EBT card. The day of them niggas Mac being Mac broke, but that's why Shout I said they're, they're so names smoke and mirrors. They got to paint up the Apollo. picture. Your schoolboy Q's DJ, but any nigga in the industry knows what an what a artist's DJ gets paid. And we also know what an a artist's DJ gets paid when he's doing nothing. When when Q mm. isn't on tour for six years, like who's paying you, bro? This is PDE crazy. PDE doesn't just pay you for being part of the camp. What camp do you know? Record label pays you for just being part of the camp while you sitting around chilling. Bees, look, right? This man, no, going listen, in, bro. sure, but like when you say broke, listen, like <laughs> you don't like like here. So what we could like care less about. No, sure. He goes so we could care less about no like the mercy, bro. I'm talking about. Is Kendrick broke? No. Is Schoolboy Q broke? No. Is J Rock broke? With no, no, right? Mercy. So which of the main niggas that we don't broke? We don't know these things. You All only right. say that because like you'll see niggas in music videos and interviews, and you feel as though they have a lot of paper. I'm telling you, as a nigga who's been around this record, this record label, just this particular record label for almost 20 years, it's funny how broke I see most niggas it's and how much little money you see flowing. Now there are some fat ass niggas that always have chili and uh, we cheese know, we on know their chin. That, that, there are some fat know, ass niggas we bro. know are eating and they have a pot Not over there. Eat, bro. But I wouldn't think, cause I, you'd be a fool to think that knowing the music industry, which one of your artists died with buku dollars? But we all believe they were very well off and rich while they were alive, and then they all died broke. So there's something going on here that you guys aren't seeing past the smoke and mirrors. If there's all this money there. 
we should be seeing if there was all this money there, if Mac had this money, he wouldn't be using volunteer podcast performers. Let's be Why real. Is, come on, bro. Come You'd on. You'd be able bro. to pay come on, the people bro. that's working with you because you understood business it's that way. Hobbies, you were business they do that as I can pay the people who work for me. But if you were part of a record label that weasels everybody and doesn't pay anybody and fucks everybody out of their money, would it be that odd that when AMAC gets a chance to run his own show, he does the same low budget project shit? Damn. He, he's never, he, I don't think he reads and writes well. I've seen him sign autographs. He doesn't even look, he knows how to spell his own name well. Damn. So what you're having is niggas who are running a, a poverty program. What and the running these, fuck? these niggas that run these industries, the reason why they pick the loser niggas that can't read good, or came right out of the projects in our ghetto, they pick these niggas because those are the only ones taking Ill Illuminati deals these days. Bruh, these are the only on, people bruh. that are dumb enough to do the rituals and get involved in that shit. So they pick. And this supposed to be his homie though. Like he said, he grew up with these niggas, man. Like why he talking so wet about these guys? Like you know what I mean? Bees, come on, brother. What the plug? I, I I get you trying to make some sense, but the way you deliver your messages is not going. So you know what I mean? The dumbest of the dumb. Wait though, Damn. bees here. The disrespect. Sure. These but, are not intellectual people. These are not here, smart individuals. Here, bees, by any though, means. See? No, bees. No. Yeah. But, wait. For bees. But if, again, if K Dot is rich, if SZA is rich, if Schoolboy Q is rich, right? If J Rock is doing hits. well, right? Well, wait, the big hits. Where, do you, where, where did you see that money at, Flacco? Wait, though. Sure. But if the rap niggas that we care about, if they rich, why should we give a fuck about the DJ who ain't rich or, or the nigga, right? But I'm asking right. you, where where are you getting these numbers from about people's net worth? One thing I've learned in this industry, just like we know, I'll give you a perfect example. You remember MTV Cribs? Yeah. Do you remember when we found out that none of these artists actually own the mansions that were on MTV Cribs? Yeah. And yeah. they were all fucking, they were just, they're, they're show houses and they have these rappers walking through. That's why they look so uncomfortable in them. They don't know these houses. It, so when you're in the entertainment this? industry and you believe the smoke and mirrors, yes, I can one day tell you that Kanye's worth 400 billion on Forbes. And then when he says the wrong anti-Semitic thing, he's now in debt and he's lost all his deals. But when did you ever see him sitting on Four hundred billion dollars, bro. You got the point. I, I, cool. We, we, I, look, you got a good point, but what, what I, I you bet. talking I, about? Listen. What does it have to do with sure. this, though? The entourage is broke. I. Right. What did you mean by surviving TDE? Bees. 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 Bro, trying to get Bees. That information out. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody broke. I. Right. Is Kendrick broke? No, no. I wouldn't say Kendrick is broke at all. I would say Kendrick got money, but the same thing I, I would know. Is Corporate Q broke? Get, like most artists, he probably doesn't have. So like I say, major big artists like this, like we just know the beef with Kendrick. What we hear in the streets, we hear it in the streets. When do you ever hear somebody leave somewhere where they're completely happy at? I mean, if you, you have ever heard somebody say, I've loved it and they've treated me he so well here. And he this still is fucks where with I them. started He's and it's been beautiful. His own and level. they appreciate me and respect me so much. No, I'm going to leave and go start my own thing. No, 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 no. B, wait, look, like, for example, right? Look. Bro, I can say, bro, I love and appreciate No Jumper it, and still say, hey, bro, I'm trying to go start my own thing and do my own shit, right? So I don't feel like that's proof that Kendrick was unhappy. Now, now, look, do you have any type of information that you're privy to that you can say, yo, I know for a fact that K Dot was unhappy, or 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 well, I, I know for a fact that he was stolen. <laughs> Put it like this: like I said, I can write a whole book on it. And just this just a free interview, free preview. But if you want to know, I know several niggas. I know every nigga at TD that's unhappy with TD. I know top dogs relatives that are unhappy with the bit. Nobody's happy over there. But it's do a depression you know, camp. Wait. It's a depression camp. When mixed by Ali gets paid sixty thousand dollars to mix a song on YG's album. Each song they paying him sixty thousand. Damn, B's on a crash and he does out mix this ab soul's whole album. What's good, being Burrito? And niggas gonna tell you they gonna pay you when you pay Welcome you. Welcome to the stream, if man. If they pay you. 
it's not my my business to be telling Ali's business. But if you're asking me, do I know what I'm talking about? Niggas are not paying niggas. This is this isn't even a TDE issue. This is a common practice in the business, in the music business. The higher ups take all the fucking money and all the power, and the artists are always underpaid and underappreciated, and they go off on drugs and they go off mentally ill. Easy. I don't. I can't. Con uh, Convince you of everything, but if you go listen to Kendrick's last album, bees, come on, a man. nigga struggling with mental health and therapy, talking about every other rapper sexually abused. I, I guess he's just pulling that. Out. I guess he was talking about everybody but his situation, right? Bees, now look, he, what, look the, hey, what listen, does all this listen, have to do? Sure, understand what the. <laughs> but I'm, if I, we I'm don't know for a fact that we have to like leave that to speculations, like, I want to hear like, from I don't you. Understand what he's talking about? Again, I, you I, are I, here to speak about. Well, you know for a fact. So do you have anything that you are willing to share and give that you know for a fact? Or, again, I, have you personally been victimized by TDE? Flacco really trying to get of course. Oh, yeah. My story, my Lucas. story is going to be... So to speak on your story, Bees, bro, we hit it. Bro, Bees, no, listen. No, no, no. Bees, bro, 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 we're here for your story. Yeah. You said you want facts. My story's facts. That's what I'm saying. My story's facts. Then speak on your but story you right now, facts. Bees. We're here for you. But what I can tell you is this. If you want to know if Bees is lying or not, one thing I was always curious about is the Illuminati. And do you really got to do rituals and all this to get in Hollywood? Is it really this secret behind the scenes? I can confirm to you with the facts. But like you said, is there anything I can tell you for sure? That shit is for sure in Hollywood. And I wouldn't be the first nigga to say it. But when I tell you niggas have done strange fucking things, to be in the positions they're in, and it has nothing Who to do with talent, with, with anybody. These, uh, some of these niggas running these music labels are borderline retarded, like crack babies, like God, literal, literal crack babies. Okay. They, you, won't, you won't hear too many live interviews of these type of people because might, you might discover that they don't talk well, and they're, they're not that crazy. smart. We, we want to show that. So you'll see that uh, some of these top music execs, they're, they're better off Doing doing like an interview in, in in Vogue or in a magazine where somebody can write out their responses, but there's bro, some of these big really, really big music in, moguls bro. who we we've never been able to get them in front of a camera so bro, they can articulate and talk to you. Why? <laughs> you just sure. get creepy mug shots of them everywhere. That Laker game mug shot. Every time bro. you see me, looks like a mug shot. I right, here, bees. I look what? right. I look. I'm so speed this up because past the broke is... stuff, right now. Let's speed this up. Wanted to come and speak and, and tell your story. What are you willing to share about how you was personally victimized by TDE or for things for the right price? For the man, right come price. On. I'm gonna tell my whole story for my right for the right man, price. It's man, come on, beast. Right. You, <laughs> for the right, but they want they want to they come and speak though. Look, 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 I can go fuck with you, Flaco. This time I'm gonna stop fucking with you, bro. I'm in undisclosed location, bro. Right? I'm out my car right now. Niggas think I'm playing. I had to go on a run, cross seven states on my whip, right? Niggas want everything for free, my nigga. And I'm saying I ain't do it for money, but niggas like, tell me this, tell me that. Hey, bro, I'm out here living. I'm working right now. I got my remote job. I'm parked by my hotel off the Wi-Fi right now, working a remote job right now. Oh my shit. Oh my shit. On the run. Niggas can't keep asking me to do everything run. for free, it's bro. crazy. Hey, listen to me. Bro, I say y'all can't keep asking me for free shit. <laughs> I'm on the run, bro. That's crazy, bro. They don't took that man out of LA. They don't, they don't chase that man out of LA. TD don't chase that man out of LA. It's crazy. Beast, right? Look, right? Look, right? I'm gonna turn this shit up. I'm gonna take the TD shit to a next level. Yeah. And niggas gonna go back home and go to sleep, and it's gonna be heat on my head. And I yeah. get it because it's the internet. Nigga, mm -hmm. they don't really give a fuck about me. Nigga wouldn't care if I got weak tomorrow. But in reality, that nigga gotta be able to survive like a Jaguar, right? Somebody posted her bail. Cat hey. Williams, somebody fucking you. Cat Williams gave her 30 bands to make sure her life was good. Because when motherfuckers get to telling, you got pansy ass niggas that's sitting at home. Like for a lot of these niggas watching, this is just entertainment to them. We've told you a hundred times the industry corrupt. Y'all really don't give a fuck. But yeah. I'm gonna have to deal with the Jaguar right side of it. And be listening, right? Being deal side of it when I tell that story. Yeah, look, beef, right? Look, and right? And tell me, go and tell me everything so I can be entertained for 30 minutes. Yo, be listening, right? So look. Like, still mad. Still <laughs> this is going. Listen, man. Where's the motherfucker yeah, out here? Tropical. Just be talking. Be listening, tropical. I make, beast, I make being on the run homeless look tropical. That's why the niggas hate me. <laughs> beef, look, I, I look, beef, all right? So look, right? So look, what the heck? Right? Look, beef, right? So listen, right? So look. Yeah. So when you're ready to tell your story, man, right? We listen. Yeah. We, said, wait, look. Got time for this shit, whenever you, you are you ready, ready to tell your story, story, right? Or hey, right? Or listen, in. if you go to like a bigger platform, feel me, and they pay you to do so, and then and we then need them Gene Deal right? niggas. 
Hey, sure. We need to say cheese and them Gene Deal niggas. No, no, no. Hey, wait, 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 we need to we need to say no we need the niggas hey. that fuck with Charles the White. No wait wait no wait 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 pause. You need it. You try to expose TDE, nigga. I'm not trying to expose nobody. Feel me? But hey, listen up. But please listen up, right? But please don't be scary, block. Nah, nah, hell, nah, hell, hell, nah. Hey, hey, be listen up, right? But please, hey, listen. Please look. When you are ready to tell your story, brother, we listen. We should bring you back, okay? We should. We should. And I want. I want to tell. But like I said, my situation right now. It, 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 and like I said, it's not even really about the money. It's about the situation I'm already in. Niggas just oh. said this nigga had to go on the run. Niggas was getting death threats. Niggas waiting outside my, my baby mama's house for me. Creepy, creepy LA nigga shit. You Ooh, feel me? Damn. Ooh. They waiting outside his baby mama's Moose, house. Moose the TD. Yeah, Anthony Kevin. Moose? Wait, 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 what? That for your people. Uh, uh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> hey, hey, be listen though, right? But Beast, hey, listen. Hold Beast, on. look. When you are ready to tell your story, brother, we, listen, we yeah. should bring you back on the run. Niggas was getting death threats. Niggas waiting outside my my baby mama's house for me. Creepy, creepy LA nigga shit. You Who? feel me? Who? Musta, Musta TDE. That's yeah, Anthony Tibbs. Crazy. Tibbett. Wait, wait, wait. The night, the, the night, the night he, niggas tried to set me up. Oh, do you guys know who the Boss Mac po podcast is? No. Weird ass nigga, Boss Mac. Shout out to Boss Mac podcast. Okay. Some, some lead me to believe I may be wrong because a lot of the Apollo niggas been on this weird ass niggas platform. But I want to say this might be like. This might be Amax weird ass big brother that started Mob Paru. You know what I mean? Like that's a real accomplishment in the hood. Like whoa, when, what, when crack babies start gangs, when crack babies grow up and start gangs, like that's like celebrated in certain hoods. Like that nigga Damn, special Mac because Mac? he started a hood. Yeah, like and everybody dies and gets started killed in the hood. hood? That's, but that's, I think that loser nigga tried to, to start a podcast called the Boss Mac Podcast. But the niggas, I love that podcast. They tried to invite me on that podcast twice. I just felt it in my spirit. Something was creepy. Then when I run my investigation, I come to find out these AMAC people, keen, but these are all the people I'm beefing with. Why the fuck are you trying to invite me on your podcast? Maybe you're just trying to see flow? your own perspective, You're not bro. even knowing I'm in hot water with your boys, but you're not mentioning it. Then I go look through your podcast and see you the type of nigga that set niggas up. You'll bring a crib nigga on there to get packed out by a pyro nigga. Oh, and and like wait, wait, the who, beast. Oh, beast. Really? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up the beast. Really? I didn't who know that. Who brought niggas to wait outside your baby mama house? To get at no, you. they ain't bring niggas. It was a nigga waiting at my house talking about, oh, I'm at your house. Mind you, at the Ooh. time, I lost, I lost Moose. Moose. Ain't that snitching on beast? The day I, the night I got set up and called the nigga back and he was so creepy. I tell you, the night they set but me up again, he in the he conversation I had with no, Moose, that, you know, that's like when nigga. the devil really show you his face. And you when a motherfucker been having a mask on for so long and you've been believing the mask because you've known this motherfucker since 15. So you see this motherfucker snake and do other people dirty, but this is really your bad because while he was snaking and doing everybody else dirty, in your mind, you kind of thought you was protected because they painting the picture like you family. Like I said on Adam, like you a family. Then you come to find Why did Musa want to hurt you, though? Oh, well, well that nigga want to hurt Well, for one, he told me, you got to know. After no jumper, because they're not very, they're not very keen. I don't know if Adam knows that. They're not really a big fan of Adam 22 and no jumper. You feel me? Mm. Just like they were I love really them big niggas. fans of academics. <laughs> it's, 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 when I came on Apollo, it was all good when Bees was getting put down, when it was shut the fuck up when we disrespect this is the average low budget nigga the average low budget nigga that didn't play sports moose didn't play sports in school he wasn't really popular nigga didn't get popular till he got around me truth in the details this nobody man, knew that nigga in high school either cake, right? he just was a nigga with clothes Everybody and a haircut nothing until they got I'm a nigga that dance on stage <laughs> play basketball play football i'm Yo. known to be the baddest nigga in school ask anybody i couldn't go to prom or grad night and still graduate top of my class when a nigga linked up with me 15 it brought more attention to him because bees is already the class clown he's already got the people's attention it put the spotlight on him. So I feel like all our life, the nigga had always been jealous of me because he was never Damn. the nigga I was. If it wasn't for your daddy's record label, you still wouldn't be the nigga you was. Your, your grandma yeah. told me that. All you niggas just living off top. But you niggas don't actually do nothing. So uh, the reason it gets ugly is because, yeah. like I said, I've been around TDE as a, as a creative in. consultant or whatever ever titles they give you. I booked Reason's first music video shoot. Ask me how much I got paid. <laughs> what? Ask me how, how much, much I got paid when I booked uh, much, music video across the street. Nigga, they're not paying niggas. They're making it like your family. So they don't got to pay you. You just work for free, but your family will take you to a Mayweather fight. <laughs> and you can sleep on my couch. That's payment. They live Beast. in a big-ass house. And Beast, you can Beast. sleep on my, yo, my couch. I shouldn't have to pay this you. Bees, bees. This so one has a problem. Bees, like... listen. Bees, be listen, bro. Right? Bees, listen. Right? Bees, look, bro. Look, so one thing is this, right? So one, um, yeah. so the chat is asking about two things, right, Bees? Um, so the first thing is, has there been an attempt on your life yet? 
if, if they catch you today, if TDE niggas catch you today, do you think they will kill you? If a TDE nigga caught me today, see, this is the one thing y'all not understanding. Bees is a comedian, bro. I don't, I don't, I've never needed a hood. My mama didn't raise me with that low self. See, I'm not a scary nigga that I only feel empowered with a whole bunch of niggas around me. I've always been a lone Damn. wolf, you feel Man, me? me? All my life. All the hood. So I never, even the camp shit, it ain't never really something that, like, I needed, you feel me? Damn. If a nigga really get a problem, my nigga, I'm gonna get up close and personal Damn, with it. Damn, he got really the shit. Is that for He got the poker look, with him. let me tell you. And then if I can't handle it that way, I am in a great state of Florida. I, I'll oh, pull the blammer, you feel me? Like, I'm not gonna oh, play with damn. you. And I don't need a game. That might, I don't need a game to do. I'm not a pussy on the ass nigga that hides behind colors in, in the game, bro. <laughs> I'm out here by myself, all Django edition. Uh, and nigga, I'll pull the poker. I'll poke a nigga. I'll poke a nigga first before I need to shoot him. I'm not a faggot. These new niggas. These new niggas don't want to get personal. Like a nigga like King talking about when I see you, I'll dog walk you. He don't know I'll cut his fucking throat if the nigga came at me as a man. Yo. I'm not living in high school with you, bro. bro I know you niggas gonna... are still competing Yo. with high school bees. A nigga say he going to dog walk me. I'm not as nice as WAC 100. I'm not wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to throw up my hand. I'll cut your fucking throat, bro. This oh my God, crashing out for real. And if I can't do it that way, I'm going to pull the blick. Bees, hold up now, Bees. It's a full on crash out right here. Any nigga run up on me trying to dog walk me, I'm a dead walk crap. Hold up, Bees. Hold up, Bees. Pause, Bees. He's a comedian, though. Hold up, Bees. But he didn't get shit all the way. Hold up, Bees. Any LA nigga with a hood, any of that shit. Any of that shit. I'm going Charleston White. I don't give a fuck about none of you. I didn't need to have a beer. If Keith pulls up right now, Bees, Bees, a bum ass nigga who has home court advantage is always going to press his line. It's the reason why. These gangbanging niggas be hard in their city on their block when they say they outside. Go take them niggas to Brentwood. Take oh, you saying Kim is pussy, nigga? Hey, Bees, is you saying Kim pussy, Bees? Huh? Is you saying Kim is pussy? Kim's Kim's got a pussy. Kim Kim is more like a Neanderthal. God He's more like damn. You niggas don't see it in his forehead. He was like two chromosomes away from being Down I syndrome. Fuck with Kim, but real though. talk, that nigga's not all there. The nigga went to uh, uh, continuation school. The nigga didn't graduate. <laughs> the nigga's not really. He was that nigga. He was the slow kid that was fighting teachers in middle school. Damn, like, he's the nigga the middle school teachers couldn't King, control. Bro. He would be like, oh, beat up the middle school teacher and thought that was like, he'd be the man for that shit. Wait, wait, Beast, 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 Beast. Beast, tell me right now, Beast. So you're Yo, saying. This nigga yeah, is crashing out kind of for real, uh, for wait, real. So, so Beast, you're saying that if Keem pulls up on you, you got a gun that you will use on him if he attacks you hey, and put your life in danger. Hey, if King, King, or any Michael nigga Sturdy walk up on if he got enough time, how Charles the White say, if you got enough time in your raggedy black ass life to focus any of your energy on me, I'm not going to be thinking about you. I'm already going to have a solution. Damn, any nigga, nigga that's like, what's funny is they could have just paid me the money they owe. Now you're going to have to yo. go put a head on me and put some money in the streets. Either way, you're going to have to pay. But you ready to crash about, off, I don't walk around with Keem on the back of my mind. When Keem, Keem, you got to know, Keem, lose their ass and moose are the niggas that called and begged me to come on the Apollo. And when I told did them they I didn't go, want to do the did ghetto mess, Keem, though, will you still stress, come on my man. podcast, won't you? I see the, the thing about bees is I get to see the side of these niggas y'all don't see on that podcast stage. A lot of these niggas ain't who they pretend to be. Damn. Niggas gonna tell me, oh, this nigga wanna just be down. He wanna be Apollo so bad. How is this when you guys begged me for two months to come to this shit? How is this when your guys' own fans DM me and tell me they were talking about you. They've been talking about bees for like months before you ever came. If you go in my regular life and ask any of my homies how much I talk about Keem or Moose, I don't talk about these niggas. These niggas aren't a thing. Damn, to be honest, if these niggas wasn't nigga wrapped up in y'all community shade, world, bro. these niggas really what wouldn't be fuck? a thing. Bees, bees, bees. Come on real quick, man. This nigga, bees, I don't listen, think this nigga bees, is friends with these niggas for bees, real. Listen, he just, he just, he you just, you ain't got to tell the full story, bees, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he want that full story. He want that good. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, but you got to get that exclusive with Amac and, and wait, 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 you got to figure wait, wait. out why Amac dodged all the homosexual allegations. But I'm huh? telling you, Hollywood. Hey, wait, I'm pause, telling pause. you, Hollywood. We don't bees. Hey, bees. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? Bees. There are certain allegations, man. That. That, again, again, even though yeah, you consider bro. them ops, bro, there's certain things, bro, that, that we cannot fuck? put on black men. Bro, bro, And that's bro, gay I'm shit and pedo shit. Bro, we, if you, what, uh, maybe, he's, maybe he's a comedian. Would, would you ever give another man a lap dance? No. Hell no. What, what, would you, what, would be, what would you infer may be that man's sexuality if he gives other men lap dances? I mean, uh, hey, man. If you was, I don't if know. He was I know right to do it, maybe you know, know I'm in a free state. I'm a free man. I don't know. I'm a free man. I don't know. Hey, you live. You live with the ghetto black cartel man, niggas. You ain't got you no proof black nigga cartel niggas, so You're really captured what because your state won't protect Don't play you. My nigga, my and if these dirty ass gangbangers should decide to go out in the street and Dijon you or something, you'd be victim. 
because you live in a state where you're powerless. You're you're a slave to your state. Do you, you know, know when I got this? arrested out here? I got arrested out here and they found my burner. Do you know they put my burner right with the clip and put it in the trunk together when I got it out the impound? These questionable beasts. Tell me real quick, man. Tell me real quick, bro. Yeah, Do you know these... I can carry this motherfucker with no no concealed carry or nothing? Facts. Tell me real quick, though. Anywhere I want with the burner. Beast, tell me real quick, beast. Tell me out, man. Tell me out, man. I'm not worried about it, nigga. I'm not worried about it, nigga. I'm not worried about it, Bees, tell me real quick, Bees. Bees, so are you saying that you have proof that more than one member is homosexual? Because, bro, you can't Wait, put what? that allegation on niggas, man. What the fuck? No, a lot of these niggas to be suspect. I don't even know why. The, the, what makes and NTDE? Has, nah, wait, 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 wait. Nah, Bees, NTDE. Are you saying that with a straight face right now? That NTDE, you know more than one niggas. I, that you, I know a wait, lot wait, of Flacco, suspect, bro. I know Flacco is trying to get all the juicy niggas, information. NTDE. What makes me more mad? What makes me more mad about this shit? Nah, wait, 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 Bees, nah, 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 Bees, listen. Nah, pause real quick, Bees. But listen, Bees, I fuck, fuck with them niggas. I can't let you just, just paint that broad brush without saying names, Bees. Which what ones do you suspect no, as being homosexuals? Again, let me refer back to Jaguar Wright. I know how bad y'all want to know. Really, when I'm saying it, this shit should be obvious. A lot of niggas, it ain't going to be too hard to tell if you're really looking at it. But the truth is, the reason why you get so much <laughs> niggas not wanting to come out and say it, because like I say, the help isn't there. What you're going to have is a whole bunch of nerds like watching now. True or not, bro, after they see the Diddy shit, a lot of these black niggas going right back to the cookout. They twerking at the cookout. Like, they really don't care. What a lot of the fuck? people watching this this got motherfucking homosexuals about? and niggas molesting kids in their family that they don't say <laughs> nothing about. What is this nigga talking about? It's a lot of these motherfuckers be on the same Diddy shit. So what hurt for me the most is even when I initially came out and started the whistleblow, I felt the gene deal. I felt the Jaguar Man, right appeal. Hey, it really Get don't matter if you're dealing right with here. people. It's just good entertainment. Like I said, it's going to start Mac like... Wait, 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 wait. Bees, Boss Mac That's has responded. Boss, my job. It's your boy, Almighty. It's your boy, JL. Look, man. Bro Talk is back, man. Back in full of Bro shit. Talk, bro. It's, it's Bro Talk. Bro? Bro Talk. Bro Talk? Like, Bro Talk, bro. Bro Talk? Bro, say it with me. Bro. Bro. Talk. Talk. Bro, talk. Bro, what the fuck? Bro, talk, bro. Bro, 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 talk, bro, come on. Anyway, bro, talk, bro, talk is back, man. You know what I'm saying? When the homies kick back, you know what I'm saying? We chill, we talk about, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Vibes, smoke a bleasy, you know what I'm saying? Drink something, you know what I mean? What are we? Like, you said, bro, talk? Bro, talk, bro. Bro, talk. Bro, talk, yeah. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. So, you know what I mean? Enjoy the buzz, you know what I'm saying? Kick back, you know what I'm saying?